Hey Cancer, it is Kendrick from Providence Tarot. I am going to give you your first proofread for the month of September. Right now we have the Five of Pentacles here. And for you, this would be um, Taurus, right? Yeah, it is. And it is Mercury being in your 11th house. So what we got going on for you Yeah, what we got going on for you is a misunderstanding in your friendships or in your relationships. You know, this Five of Pentacles, there's some kind of conflict um, here. And this is, I don't know, it's almost like feeling like, hmm, this is being weighed down by societal norms or not even well yeah being weighed down by societal norms and some of the norms of society are things that you know we can't control because it comes from like a long history of oppression maybe bs right people not seeing the real value of each other and our differences here okay definitely value like the value is being taken out of some type of experience for you it could be a relationship it could be that you don't value something the same way anymore or you just don't feel valued in the same way before right or you just need to sort of recalibrate or rethink what something means to you, right? Is it just for financial security? Are you trying to feel safe from these people? Um, You know, do these people make you feel safe, but now you're conflicted with, you know, I don't know, what's manifested. And I feel like you're kind of like telling yourself, I knew this was going to happen or I knew this would happen. You know, because thoughts manifest. Um... And I feel like you feel you, you're, you, you are put in a position where you might be feeling uncomfortable to say something or to speak on something. Okay, let's see what your card is. Ace of Wands, yeah. It's like, because this is connected to Mercury as well, being that it's the magician. But then at the same time, this is like afraid to take that, 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 that risk, you know, because you're not really coming from a place of um, having faith, you know. This is a card of blind, blind faith. Well, that's kind of like, the fool, but the fool is Uranus and Uranus is the higher octane of Mercury and this is connected to Mercury, you know? So this is impulse, right? So you might be battling with yourself over doing something, you know? Cause this is almost like, you know what to do, but you're a little bit hesitant to do it, okay? Where's the reluctance coming from? But this wants you to have courage and to believe in yourself, despite, you know, any intimidation that you might be feeling or any um, fear that you think is on the other side of this, right? Fear is really in the moment. When you make it to the other side of fear is when you really kind of like learn the meaning behind something or learn the lesson of overcoming fear you know, by doing. And sometimes this is this is something that she would be doing for the first time or this is a, a way that she would be expressing yourself 
uh, for the first time, but this is coming from a place of asserting your will, your power, uh, and defining yourself. You know, this is the, this is a de very defining moment for you. Okay, I want you to think I can and I will, right? Whatever it is, it's nothing is really stopping you. That's what the Ace of Wands is telling me, right? The Five of Pentacles says that just because you've been taught uh, to perceive things in some kind of way, that is what is making you fearful of taking this leap or doing this thing or initiating something, right? Or taking the initiative, okay? But this definitely says that you're like ready for something new or ready for change, you know? You need something to make you feel alive again. Or not even just alive, but just feel like you're getting somewhere, you know? Cause sometimes this Ace of Wands could have the feeling of, um, of feeling stuck just because we're connecting it to Pluto. And we're connecting it to Mars. We're connecting it to the first house. Okay, we're connecting it to the fifth house. <laughs> um, yeah. Don't be afraid to take a leap of faith, you know? That's what I would say here. And also this leap of faith could just be voicing something. It could be doing something. And I don't want you to be discouraged from your, uh, your potential or your creative abilities. Don't let someone else discount you right don't let them discount you and don't let them you know screw with what you are worth in your head or don't let them make you think that you are stuck because you are not and that's what the ace of wands is in response to this five of pentacles Thank you. Bye, Cancer.